Welcome to the Bird News Network, brought to you by American Bird Conservancy. This is Steve Homer. American Bird Conservancy staff spent six days in the Gulf region in early July to see firsthand the effects of the oil spill disaster. They were surprised and disappointed at what they found. A number of problems with the cleanup effort were identified that hopefully we can learn from to ensure that future oil spill cleanups will be more effective. If you have no proper cleanup plan, then things can start to go wrong fast. We expected to see a shoreline decimated by oil with thousands of affected birds. What we saw instead was a shoreline under siege from cleanup crews who were doing more harm to birds than good and a range of protective measures that range from fairly effective to completely useless. The scale of this event is difficult to fully appreciate until you see it from the ground and the water as well as from the air. The sheen of oil covered thousands of square miles. American Bird Conservancy has released a report based on what our investigative team found. The report made recommendations that could make a big difference for birds. The first is that booming technology needs to be improved. We've seen a lot of boom that is washed up right on the beach. Uh, it's not in a place where it can really do very much. Uh, we've seen two major nesting islands for birds in the bay, one of which was quite well boomed but was obviously still oil because there were oil birds on there. The other one where the boom had been knocked out by the winds associated with Hurricane Alex and hadn't been fixed up yet. And there was a lot of oiling, uh, particularly of roseate spoonbills. Um, there's some other boom which the Coast Guard has. Uh, it's inflated above the waterline. It appears to be much better, more effective, but there's very little of it. And we've really only seen it in one, one place, really. Another key problem was ineffective skimming technology. Really what's needed is larger equipment and more equipment. Uh, by equipment, mainly offshore skimmers that can uh, intercept oil be before it gets to our beaches, uh, to our passes, and into our estuaries. Uh, of course, that's our major concern is keeping it out, keeping the oil out of our estuaries. Uh, you know, it's it's problematical having it on the beach, but but not near the dark uh, consequences of what would happen if, once it gets into our estuaries. Most of the converted shrimp boats we saw were ineffective at skimming oil. The boats were idled and unable to operate in even a modest sea. Another problem is that the intensive effort to keep the beaches clean for tourists ended up disturbing nesting and feeding birds. The, the people that are working on the beach, I'm, I'm not sure really how I feel about that. I, I know that they're trying to do a good job. I know what they're trying to do, but there's so much activity on the beach. If you're a small shorebird trying to make a living, you're going to have a hard time doing it with all the people that are running around back and forth doing what they're doing in terms of cleaning up the oil. So I have mixed feelings about um, the success of picking up oil with shovels uh, and having armies of people and vehicles of all types running up and down the beach. Um, uh, we've seen, unfortunately on the beaches, a lot of uh, off-road vehicles being driven through uh, what are least turn nesting colonies. Um, there seem to be a lot of vehicles moving up and down the beach without much regard to where birds are nesting. This second phase of disaster for the birds could be avoided if cleanup crews were directed by trained biologists. The oil spill has pushed efforts to restore the Gulf's dwindling wetlands to the forefront. The White House has announced a Gulf restoration plan and is supporting using dedicated funds such as the heavy fines BP is expected to pay for the oil spill. The Louisiana coast, in particular, is suffering from ongoing habitat loss that will need action to restore. Expanding the mangrove islands and the bays and marshes surrounding the delta will also help to protect the coast from hurricane storm surges. The ABC report highlighted a bright spot in the cleanup and restoration effort, and that is the cleaning of oiled birds. Some have asserted that oiled birds should be left alone to let nature take its course. We talked to Rebecca Dimitrik of the International Bird Rescue Research Center about that question. What we've learned at, through our 40 years experience and over 200 spills is that it does work and it is very worth it to, to try and rehabilitate oil wildlife. And uh, basically those people who question it are actually basing it on old science. They don't have anything new that they're really basing it on. For our detailed recommendations and other bird conservation news, please see American Bird Conservancy's website at abcbirds.org. This is Steve Homer. Thanks for joining us at the Bird News Network.